Okay, finally I get around to doing a little lesson on how to play my arrangement of Bus Stop by the Hollies. It's taken a while, I'm sorry, but things have been <coughs> so busy. But anyway, in this lesson I'll show you how I do it and uh, I hope you get a lot out of it. So let's just dig right in. Okay, I'm going to stop there and then uh, add the rest in a little bit, but I want to break down what I have done so far in this arrangement that I do. Okay, uh, this is the intro. It's very simple. And then you keep the bass going on the, the A and then alternate to the E. Or not alternate, but just go to the E when you're ready. There. Okay, that's E sus four. Right into a nice little bar chord E on the ninth fret. Then you're gonna slide down from D right into an A minor chord. And we're going to alternate back and forth from the A minor to the E minor. E minor 7, I should say. There's your E minor 7. To get that melody, that A note, you kind of have to play an E sus chord all together. is going back and forth and then you got that melody so and you got the harmony in between to snap it a little bit there okay um, that goes for a while and then we go into the C chord uh, let's see F okay so C chord let me play just the melody chords underneath that and the harmony will be a C chord then a G chord A minor and then an F major 7th F6 into an E minor so let's look at that again So All right, let's make sure we didn't forget nothing. I'm going to slow that down. this 
next section, which is also a, starts with a C. Into a B bar. Nice and strong. You gotta expose the melody there. So you have to lift up a little bit. Going up into these uh, sixths patterns. Okay, that's what it is. So here we go. B7, this is very important right here. B7. Into an E minor, of course. Let's look at that again. Right there, eighth and ninth fret. Seven ends a little bit differently there. All right, I'm going to have to do it from here. Um, okay, and that repeats pretty much. So we're going into the solo. Okay, I was thinking too hard. Okay, let's try that again. Sorry. Okay, then we're right on an A chord there before we go back into the C, but let's look at that again. your bass notes, alternating A and the E. like that okay and the intro was different than that okay but they're both played up in the same area all right so we're gonna end this tune just like we started it so okay and that's just an A chord up here Okay, so what you want to do, 
is you want to get some right hand finger picking patterns that you can start working on that will take you from a very simple and easy picking pattern let's say just this and then progress you into a little bit more difficult ones and then mixing it up For example, uh, like Windy and Warm, what you're doing is taking the melody and playing it on top. Here we go. So you can take any song, play the melody on top, and play the bass, alternating the bass, and a rhythm in between, and a harmony in between, and you got a nice sound, a nice full sound, and that seems to be what everyone's wanting to get. Uh, my best recommendation is, like I say, to grab some right hand finger picking patterns and work them. Okay, uh, You can look at my uh, website, Guitar Journey. Dot tripod dot com and you'll find some helpful uh, material there and you'll want the right hand finger picking patterns and I can either uh, send a disc to you or I can do downloads now too so uh, anyway keep that in mind but in order to get this style down you just have to work with these finger picking patterns and and, and they'll come easier and easier okay so like bus stop we did today uh, has that nice melody and a nice alternating bass. I have another video of me just playing the tune. Um, this video I've had a lot of people request uh, me to show how I'm doing it. So that's why I did this and I wanted to break the song down for you. Hope you enjoy it. Take care.